Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a weekly horoscope for April 2017 and this is for you coming from Aquarius and we'll start on Saturday the 1st and end on Saturday the 8th. So let's start with Saturday the 1st. I'm afraid to say it's going to be a very difficult day for you. Your morning, afternoon and early evening periods have planets who go against you in anything that you want to do. And so be ready for your plans to be changed. There is frustration. Be ready for opposition. Be ready for confrontation. Be re ready for others to be disagreeable with you, whether in career, whether in business, whether in marriage, whether in romance areas. So you cannot afford to be arrogant. You cannot afford to be pushy. You cannot afford to criticize people. You cannot afford to take charge and you cannot afford to be the leader because if you do a lot of blame is going to be put on you and you only attract trouble so why bother try to stay in teamwork try to be a bit laid back try to be not pushy try to be patient be patient because as the late afternoon and evening periods and nightfall period come better planets move in now they produce luck for you so where earlier you could not find solutions you are going to find solutions as the late afternoon evening and nightfall comes that's the time to talk to your business possibilities that's the time to talk to your to your colleagues or to your bosses that's the time to bring solutions to any marriage upsets and in socializing that's the time if you're looking for romance you will find it and if you have a romance you can improve it so socialize go out with the people you want to be with there's always a reward there's always something good coming for you sunday the second for you coming from aquarius it's a much better day but there are many emotional planets and so emotional sides of life are going to be okay but there are also planets roaming in and out that want to bring disappointments want to bring trouble so you have to be careful that you must not change plans already made by others and try not to be emotionally too much a person try to think logically use facts and figures otherwise you will spoil this sunday it starts off with a very slow nice way morning and afternoon session but it ends up very badly for you and these bad planets who attack your late afternoon evening and nightfall period are also there in the morning and afternoon session but their power is not so much so emotionally the whole day can be difficult and it gets worse as you move to the late late afternoon evening and nightfall period so if you are socializing be careful don't drink too much accidents are seen be careful what you say and what you do because you are bringing upsets to other people very easily and the whole afternoon uh, evening and nightfall period wants to bring disappointment for yourself so be low key don't want to take charge let other people do that be part of the team whether in marriage romance career or business side and you will be able to manage the day better but i expect the disappointment to be quite strong for you throughout the day somewhere or another be especially careful of accidents monday the third uh, for you in aquarius improves by a bit uh, but don't be stubborn and don't dominate but you will find that at your place of work there is good news there is support from others there is your bosses also acknowledge you in business chase for business you will get some good news so the planets of expansion are very active they want to expand your responsibilities and possibilities so your ambitions are allowed to do that but don't dominate or don't be stubborn as the day moves on to the afternoon or late afternoon evening and nightfall period some better planets move in and they now start to help you with all the efforts you have been making earlier and now you get support and you will see the possibility of gelling with your ideas earlier and the reality of it becomes very good so the late afternoon evening and nightfall session if you are working late solutions will be found if you are at home solutions will be found to anything with your romance partner the same as well and if you are socializing you can meet people who are going to be important to you so plenty of good stuff waiting for you when socializing take out your marriage partner uh, for a dinner or or family people as well 
go out with your romance partner, invite your colleagues or bosses, and if you're in business, mix business and pleasure, some very good rewards are coming, especially in the evening and nightfall session. Tuesday, the fourth starts very well for you. You just get very good news and are very lucky. So be on your toes, communicate, ask favors, and you will get the rewards. If you just keep quiet, it'll be a good day, but nothing much done. So be active. You've got to excite these planets. So when you do, you'll find that rewards come in business, rewards come in career. And if you're looking for a romance, very quickly and unexpectedly, you get some very good news. So get active that way too. And if you are married, then plan uh, outings with your marriage partner or your romance partner. As the day moves on, some aggressive planets move in and they can either make you a little bit too uh, oversure of yourself, too much determination in what you want. So your aggressive tendencies are not good. Take the soft approach. Use words which are soft. Use a tone of voice which is soft and you can make the whole day, especially your late afternoon, evening and nightfall period to come under your control and produce good results. Wednesday the 5th starts very well and so you are very communicative and your ideas you want others to hear so go ahead and your marketing sense is very good and so talk to others as well whether it's in career areas whether in business areas you're going to do very well good news comes very quickly so be active and excite the planets to bring the good news in your personal areas of marriage and the areas of romance uh, everything goes well, but try not to be too argumentative. And also in career and business side, don't be too argumentative. Make your point and start to listen. And this way your morning and afternoon periods become very good. But also in the morning and afternoon period, the planet of arrogance is there, but not so active. Produces little bursts of arrogance from you. Try not to allow that. Control your tongue. Don't be criticizing others. Don't have a movement of behavior that shows arrogance. Otherwise, you're going to spoil the morning-afternoon session. These negative planets become stronger and they want their say. They want to be active as the evening and the nightfall comes. So you can be disappointed because others will disagree with you because you're too pushy or arrogant or you are too imposing on others or you use words which show demeaning others don't want to do that be polite be loving be helpful be supportive and you can override these planets and make the even the evening and nightfall session good for you although i'm worried that there's a tendency of you spoiling it let's move to thursday the sixth now you start the day very well and morning and afternoon sessions are very productive so get busy in career get busy in in your business areas concentrate on that you are very creative and you get plans which come just inspired and of course in your place of work people will admire you for that your bosses will want to look after you in business they will your business uh, potential or your business people that you're doing business with or your business partners will love your inspiration as well so you are doing very well on these areas on all areas and uh, go ahead and uh, make your plans if you want to socialize later part of the day. As the evening and nightfall comes, there are water planets moving in. I call them water planets because they make you change your mind, change your plans. They make your infatuation grow and they make you very moody, things like that. So no harm with that, but try not to allow your moodiness to change plans or to override other people's desires okay try to be practical minded and this way the whole day even the afternoon a late afternoon evening and night can come to your favor you can have very um, a lot of imaginative ideas by the way in the evening and nightfall period friday the seventh starts very poorly you can have accidents if you're not careful accidents are not only for the road you can have them at home while you're bathing sleeping on the floor while running up the stairs getting into a mess all these things are called accidents so whether in the kitchen whether anywhere be extra careful for the morning and afternoon period especially and drive carefully you can meet people who will invite you later and these people may have bad habits of drinking too much or other bad habits try to stay away from them because they only lead you into trouble 
So trouble wants to trouble you in the morning and afternoon session and it's up to you to stay away from trouble since I've already warned you about it. Trouble in company, trouble in your habits, trouble the way you do things, trouble the way you uh, converse with people, talk to people. So be better in every area. As the late afternoon, evening and nightfall comes, some positive planets come. They are positive enough. They are not your best two of them. But they bring the possibility of getting good news in business, good news in your career and your marriage area. Now you can find solutions where earlier it was all trouble. And this is the time to attempt to try and make a contact for your romance if you want. Don't try it in the morning afternoon session. You will have bad news. So as the evening nightfall comes, you make your chance to contact and you will be on a better level. So the evening ends up well for you. Mix business and pleasure by all means. Saturday the 8th is a very good day, morning, noon and night. Slow and steady, that's how the day moves. So don't be impatient. Make your contacts on this Saturday the 8th with your colleagues, with your bosses, with your business people. Invite them for lunch, invite them for evening tea, invite them if you want for dinner. It's a perfect day that rewards will come for whatever you do. So be compassionate as well and be helpful. Listen to problems of others and they will be appreciative and they will reward you as well. So a lot of good news pouring in morning, afternoon and sessions. So if you are working, that's even better. With your colleagues and with your bosses, you will get plenty of praise and support. And if you are in business, no harm this Saturday. Uh, dedicate it to business if you can. Because whatever you contact are people who are going to be very helpful. So communicate, ask favours from people. And in all areas, morning, afternoon sessions, slow and steady and picking up nice speed. The speed making you luckier starts to happen during the late afternoon, evening and nightfall session. This is the time where unexpected good news comes in. So be busy with business, be busy in your area of work if you are working or communicate with your work people. In your marriage, you'll find that the slow and steadiness now moves to excitement of a good kind. And if you now contact, uh, want to make contacts with uh, uh, people who might be, be linking with you in romantic areas, now the possibility comes very fast. So the unexpectedness, the suddenness of good luck comes as the day moves on to the evening and nightfall session. So socialize by all means. Okay. Do go to Facebook and look me up and follow me and I would like to Skype with you one day. I charge USD 50, 50 for a 90 minute Skype session and uh, having known your full date of birth and time of birth and be able to look at your palms on Skype. I'll be very accurate for you for your next five or six years in all areas of your life, including your health areas. I will do early detection scanning to see which organs in you, at what age, in what calendar year are going to start producing problems. So we can make your appointment through, through Skype itself or you can make your appointments through Facebook. But I hope one day I will be able to help you through Skype. Until then, thank you and good luck.